Is this a familiar sound? What about this? How about this? Or this. All of these sounds come from an instrument called the organ. There are many different kinds of organs, played in many different settings. Today we will meet four different organists and find out just a little bit about the instruments that they play. First, we will travel to Target Field in Minneapolis to meet Sue Nelson. Hi, my name is Sue Nelson, and I'm the Twins Organist. Best job in the world. I started piano lessons when I was seven, and then got to playing organ in high school, I guess. I get to play um, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, which is the funnest time because the kids love to sing it, and uh, lots of people love to sing it, and I get to come to Twins games every time there is one. <laughs> so um, I'll play a little bit. Next, we'll head to the Heights Theater in Columbia Heights to meet Ed. Well, hello there. I'm Ed Copeland, and I'm the head organist here at the Heights Theater in Columbia Heights. I decided to play the organ many years ago when my mom took me to a local pizza restaurant called Cicero's, where I fell in love with this instrument because they had one there. Some of the things that I like about this instrument are its versatility and it can do many things such as have sound effects. Here we have birds and we have a cymbal roll. A train effect too, which I actually have to do myself. And now I will play something in theater organ style for you. Now we'll go to Greater Friendship Missionary Baptist Church and hear from Darnell. Hello, I'm Darnell Davis. Uh, I am a gospel organ player. I started playing when I was 10 years old. Literally one Sunday morning, just sat down on the organ and started playing. And I've been playing ever since. Um, I don't read music at all, but I play by ear. So if I can hear it, I can play it. 
Um, and so one of the reasons I love the B3 organ is because I love the sound of it. I like to call it the, the holy instrument because the sound, it really feels a service in church. And so here is a uh, taste of, you know, the sound. Finally, we will meet Aaron at House of Hope in St. Paul. Hello, my name is Aaron David Miller, and I'm the organist at House of Hope Presbyterian Church in St. Paul, Minnesota. House of Hope is home to this very large pipe organ that was built by a very famous organ builder by the name of Charles Fisk. Um, I first started organ lessons when I was about 10 years old, just barely tall enough for my feet to reach the foot pedals. And I was first introduced to the organ when I was five, and I was captivated by the many tone colors that the organ could produce. The pipe organ has been in existence for over 2,000 years. In fact, the, the earliest pipe organs were about 300 BCE, about the time of the ancient Greeks. And my personal love of the pipe organ stems from all of those centuries of music making that has occurred on this instrument over the years. Here's a bit more music on my instrument, pipe organ. Thanks for learning a little bit about the organ today. Take note the next time you see and hear this amazing and versatile instrument.